Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question now. Um, a raindrop falls vertically from rest and state the initial acceleration of the raindrop. Okay, so the mark is only one. Now, what is what do you mean by the initial acceleration of the raindrop? And what is happening in this phenomena? First of all, try to understand that. So that we actually, this is the part of the theory. So I think like majority of the students would be knowing this, but still this graph relates with the terminal velocity. What happens is, let me explain you this. Like, let us say this is a ball or a body and initially it is at rest. So U is equal to zero. Now it has started falling downwards. So the initial acceleration will be gravity G. So the answer to the A is 9.8 meter per second square. No doubt about that because initially it will start with this much of the acceleration. And then because it is getting accelerated, the velocity is bound to increase. Now there is another force which will come into play. Like this is the weight which is downwards, but there is another force which is coming into play. And this force is the drag force. Now this drag force is having directly proportional relation with the velocity with which it is moving. Many a times this FD is directly proportional to V and many a times this FD is directly proportional to V square. And in some questions, it is also given to be equal to v, directly proportional to V cube also in some questions by IB. But overall, we can just assume that it is going to increase as the velocity increase. So more is the velocity with which it is moving downwards, more will be the drag force. And the velocity is bound to increase because um, the body is getting accelerated at 9.8. So gradually the velocity builds up like earlier it is zero, but now the velocity builds up. So if the velocity is building up, similarly, the, the drag force is also increasing its value. So if I ask you like, what is the net force? So initially the net force is given by weight minus F drag, but the drag was zero. Gradually, the drag is now increasing its value. So F net is having like, it is, uh, I can say that F net is bound between the range. So the minimum value for the F net will be, uh, sorry, the maximum value will be weight when FD is zero and the minimum value will be when FD equal to weight. So that is zero. So F net has a range. Initially, F net is equal to weight and that is why the gravity is 9.8, the acceleration. Gradually, the drag force keep on increasing, keep on increasing and after some time, it becomes equal to weight. Now, the net force is equal to zero. If the net force is equal to zero, acceleration will become zero. So, initially, the net acceleration is 9.8, but after that, at this time, at this time, the acceleration is not 9.8, but somewhat lesser than 9.8, something lesser than 9.8 like this. And gradually you see that here, the speed becomes constant. It means that at this point, I can fairly say <clears throat> that acceleration is equal to zero. So overall, this is the phenomena that we are uh, going to see in this question. And they are going to ask you a question from this now. So having given you the background information, let us now again move to the question. So the answer to the first question is 9.8, no doubt about that. And now the graph is clear, like what the hell is happening here. Now, the graph shows how the speed of the rainwater varies with respect to time and explain by reference to the vertical forces, how the raindrop reaches a constant speed. So I have already given you the answer for that, that there is a drag force due to air. And initially that will be taken to be zero, but it is found to be directly proportional to velocity. And so you can say that FD is equal to KV. So F net is W minus KV. This is F net. And so after some time, like this is going to be equal to zero, you can find the terminal velocity, which will come out to be equal to W divided by K. Anyways, but here we just need to explain why the net force is zero. So we will say that the drag force keeps on increasing as the velocity increases. So F net becomes zero, acceleration becomes zero. Because acceleration is zero, it is now going to move at the constant velocity. So B is also clear. In this um, uh, IB questions, no, like be very particular about these words, like describe, explain, prove or something. So from this, we now know that there is no mathematics involved. Explain means only explanation. You have to just write the points. 
okay now moving next again so describe the first three during the first three seconds the raindrop falls a distance of 21 meters and reaches a speed of 9 the mass of raindrop is 34 milligram the temperature of the raindrop does not change determine the energy transferred to the air during the first three seconds of the motion state your answer to an appropriate number of significant figures okay so now we are moving into the mathematics so again reading this thing now the body is here and it is moving downwards uh, initial velocity is zero but it is going downward let us say after three seconds it has reached this point so the time taken is three seconds distance traveled is 21 meter and the speed now is nine meter per second the mass of the raindrop is given the temperature of the raindrop does not change so no energy is converted into heat which is absorbed by the rainwater fine so determine the energy transferred to the air now first question is the explanatory question and the conceptual question why energy is transferred to the air now you see uh, if i talk in the terms of ener energy conservation this particle is not moving initially so it only has the potential energy so i can just call it like mgh gravitational potential energy whatever it is it is falling down and when it reaches this point now it is having kinetic energy and potential energy with reference to this i will just choose it to be zero isn't it so height can be taken to be equal to 21 meters so we can say that the potential energy here is zero here potential energy is like mg into 21 but these two energies will not be equal to each other you must be remembering there is something called work done against friction so there is a drag force which is in the backward direction so there is a work done against the drag force that work done which is done against the drag force of the air it is converted into energy into heat energy of the air molecules so definitely some energy is transferred to the air that is what we want to find but how can we find by just subtracting it like we will say that the gravitational potential energy is 34 milli g into height can be taken as 21 and what is the kinetic energy at the bottom so it is half m and the velocity is given as 9 so it will be half m v square so overall we will find this we will find this with the help of calculator we will subtract it and the change in energy is the energy which is lost to the air so that will be the answer for the c1 okay so i would be showing you the mark scheme also whether they have done the same thing or not and what is the answer i will show you this so you people can give it a try i don't have the calculator here and although like it has already taken eight minutes so i do not want to waste more time so i know this is what we have to do gravitational potential energy minus kinetic energy and it is equal to the work done against friction now c2 describe the energy change that takes place for t greater than three seconds so I would be coming to this because this is only <coughs> description. So we just need to write theoretical paragraph there. So for C1, let me show you the answer. Uh, yeah, I have, I have the mark scheme also with me. So C1 yes this is c1 uh, you can see here so first of all we will find the gravitational potential energy just a moment uh, sorry for the small font <laughs> okay it's not increasing anyways so uh, the gravitational potential energy is m g h which is this kinetic energy is half m v square which comes out to be equal to this and we subtract it yes. in majority of the questions when drag force is given due to friction due to viscosity or due to anything we are usually concerned with what is the work done against friction and that is found either by using work energy principle or by finding the drag force if the drag force is constant for example in the case of friction the frictional force will be constant then we can use f into d but in this case the drag force is a variable so there is no other method that is feasible the only method feasible is change in energy so the total energy minus total energy later 
that is your energy so this is what we wanted to do and you have to calculate it up to two significant figures because everywhere you are using two significant figures that is why like 3.4 is 2 this is 2 9.8 is like okay fine you can choose it by yourself so the answer should be reported in two significant figure here also the answer will be in two significant figures that's it so this is it and let us see describe energy change that takes place after t is greater than three seconds so after t is greater than three seconds we are sure that the terminal velocity has been achieved it means that now the acceleration is zero and the weight is equal to the drag force f net is zero so acceleration is zero and so the velocity will keep on moving like this but what kind of energy changes are happening there because indeed the body is still moving down and it is still losing the potential energy so gravitational potential energy is lost but where is it going because it is not gaining any kinetic energy there is no change in kinetic energy so where is that energy going this is what is the question obviously this energy is lost in doing work against friction or doing work against the drag force we can say and so that energy is given to the air this is what is happening so you can say it is converted into heat energy of the air because they have already given that the temperature of the raindrop is not increasing so we can say that the heat is not absorbed by the raindrop but heat is absorbed by air molecules so this is how we have to explain this thing and this is it this is how we do it so this question is completely over okay dear students so this is how we do this question thanks for joining all the best